Hello, welcome to this video course. In this module, you'll learn how to optimize LinkedIn SEO to maximize traffic. Before we start, let's take a look at the simple breakdown of what you'll be learning. In this module, you will learn how to optimize your LinkedIn search engine optimization, SEO for short, to maximize traffic. By carefully and strategically customizing your LinkedIn profile URL, then using keywords, anchor links, and backlinks to increase the percentage of your profile being searched and viewed. Just by implementing small changes that shape your profile with the common aspects people are looking for on LinkedIn, you are optimizing your chances of coming up when searched to a higher percentage than before. First up, customizing your profile URL. Most LinkedIn profile URLs will be made up of meaningless letters and numbers well, before you customize it. However, you have the choice to personalize it to anything you wish based on availability. The best customization is to put your name as your profile URL because it's the most ideal way to get the URL immediately identifiable as you. Not only is this an easier way for clients to find your specific profile, it's also a great way to increase returns to your profile faster and more often for both your potential clients and for yourself. Make sure to keep it clean and short. If in any case your name is not available or it's already taken, try using recognizable variations of your name or initials. This is a great way to ensure people can easily search for you, as connecting your LinkedIn profile URL to your name will also allow you to be found easily by real-life connections. It's because most people recall best another person's name as compared to other aspects of their professional profile. Next up, we'll be customizing your overall profile with keywords. This is a very important and essential step in optimizing your LinkedIn SEO because each time somebody searches on LinkedIn, the content of your profile will determine if you will appear on that person's search or not. Therefore, it's very important that you do thorough research on the most searched keywords and identify related useful ones to incorporate them into your profile. This will greatly increase your chances of popping up on the search engine. Research on your desired clients and make a list of common keywords used within that field and industry. You can also use the Google AdWords keyword tool to figure out which terms will increase your likelihood of being discovered when searched. After you've identified the most searched and related keywords, your next step is to furnish your profile into a keyword-rich profile. First of all, make sure that your job title uses keywords that people will likely use when they're searching for the expertise that you offer. For example, if you're an expert in copywriting, make sure the phrase copywriter appears in your job title. Be strategic with the content in your description. Make use of the keywords you've researched by incorporating them into your previous job descriptions, skills, and about me section as much as possible. Pay special attention to strategically using keywords in the titles of your posts in order to optimize their chances of higher rankings. Secondly, instead of writing out full paragraphs on the details of your expertise or experience, use bullet point form to list them out. Make sure to incorporate a variety of relevant keywords. Formatting your descriptions with bullet points also makes your profile easier to read. Studies have shown that lengthy profile descriptions can be a pain to the eye and reduce the willingness of a reader to pursue the need to go through your profile. This means that people would rather skip your profile and go on to another one just because it's hard to read. Moving on, let's talk about anchor links and backlinks. Anchor links are links on a page that bring you to a specific place on that page. Anchor links can be helpful when you want to bring a website visitor to a specific spot on a long page. You can add up to three anchor links of your own website to your LinkedIn profile contact info section. This allows you to showcase a variety of work to potential clients that may be looking for different types of content. You can target a wide range of different clients by providing various references to your business. On the other hand, backlinks are incoming links to a web page. When a web page links to any other page, it's called a backlink. Insert backlinks to your profile page from your own personal website, be it a company site or your own personal blog, whatever further showcases your experience and expertise. This will result in your LinkedIn profile ranking higher and therefore increase the chance of appearing in the top of the search results. When there are more options offered to others to find out more about your business, the amount of views that your LinkedIn profile gets will be increased as well. Therefore, your LinkedIn profile should have lots of unique content and be updated regularly. An easy way to keep the account fresh is to populate the profile with a stream of regular blog posts. Similar to Twitter, you can strengthen the profile by building up a list of credible connections. Well, we've come to the end of this module. By applying the strategies above to optimize your LinkedIn SEO, you'll be able to maximize the traffic to your profile and achieve higher contacts with potential clients. We're not done yet, though. I'll see you in the next one.